So we are going to derive a uh, stream function for doublet and then we are going to have stream function for flow around cylinder whether it is rotating cylinder or uh, it is uh, a static cylinder. So uh, the idea is uh, previously we we'll already uh, discussed about how to derive the stream function for four major stream function which is source, sink, linear, and uh, vortex. And now we try to see what happened if source plus sink. So it is something like this. So for example- Excuse me, Professor. Can you yeah. start recording the lecture, please? Yes. I'm, I'm recorded. <laughs> okay. I'm recording it. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, uh, so for example, if we have one sink here and we have one source on your right side, so we could draw a stream function or the or streamline something like this. So uh, the source is come out and then the flow from the source will be sucked into the sink. So it will uh, create uh, uh, some uh, pattern like this. So I think uh, you're, you're already familiar with this. And now uh, what we could say is the combination between source and sink here can be written as this one. So we know that the source stream function for source is m theta one over two pi and sink we have uh, m theta two over two pi in negative uh, sign because sink is, uh, it sucks the flow but source it uh, release the flow. And the theta here uh, will be referred to the location of that molecule uh, based on the source, uh, location of source and sink here. Okay, then because normally we will assume that the strength of source here and the strength of sink must be the same. So the idea is because to make sure that this pattern or this flow can be sucked 100%, so we must make sure that the strength of source must be equal to the strength of sink. If the strength of source is bigger, so means the sink here cannot suck all the flow from the source. Okay, you could imagine that uh, situation. So the value of M here is constant, means uh, it carries the same value. So we could simplify uh, our stream function combination for source and sink as this one. So, and then, so the problem is for any location means uh, if source and sink has its own location, so the pattern will become like this. So what happened if the sink and source is at the same location? So means what happened if source and sink can move uh, toward each other and then it overlap the location? So the flow pattern will become like this. So for example, if sink and, so, sing and source is at the same location, so the pattern will, uh, will be perfectly round like this. Okay. So we call this one as a doublet. Okay. Doublet means when you have sink and source uh, occur at one single point. So, so means that if, okay, if the sink and source at X exists like this, they will give you flow pattern of this one. And if the sink and source at Y exists, it will give the pattern like this one. So, and then we want to evaluate. So what happened if sink and source occur at the same point? So we have uh, this one. So for example, we have a uh, sink here on your left and source uh, at your right. So, and then we have one molecule here. So this molecule is actually referred to this uh, molecule. Okay, this is the track from the source to the sink and we just get one molecule. We focus on one molecule and then we draw a geometrical line on it. So we have something like this one, and then we give them uh, a value. 
So for example, so we give it, uh, this is a theta one and we have here theta two and then uh, the length here, okay. So, uh, so this is, uh, and then, okay. Because we have strength of source and strength of sink uh, in the same value, so means that if the sink and source move toward each other, they will meet at the middle uh, area here, at the middle point here. So we mark the middle point here as O, as, uh, as the origin. And then uh, we assume that the distance from this point P and R here, uh, P and the origin here, K is R. And then uh, the angle here is theta. Okay. So, and then uh, we have an angle here, okay, can be determined as alpha, and alpha can be determined by theta 1 minus theta 2. Okay, so I think yeah, I, uh, you could prove it. So, and then uh, the combination of this one can be written as uh, psi or stream function for source plus the stream function of sing. And, the, and then finally, we could get, okay, we could get the, um, the terms of m over 2 pi theta 1 minus theta 2. So, because here we can uh, simplify the theta 1 minus theta 2 with alpha. So, we could say that the combination of this situation is m over 2 pi alpha. So, it, this combination actually reflect the location of sink and source with certain uh, distance. Okay, then. So, what happened if source and sink, okay, towards each other and then overlap at point O. So the angle here, it's not theta 1 minus theta 2 anymore. So it become one single value of angle, which is theta. So we could say that, okay, so before we do that, okay, we could simplify that the alpha here can be written like this one. So uh, it comes from the idea of, Okay, let's say we have an uh, theta here. So, and then uh, we could say that this is an R, the radius, so it could move like this. So, it means uh, if you have one uh, center of circle here with R theta here, so it could create uh, a circular shape like this one. Okay, so, and then uh, we... Uh, extend this line into one uh, point here. So we assume that uh, we could do the calculation or we could say that the, the distance of y here is actually, okay, we could say that r times alpha, okay, so it is equal to uh, x plus y. So if we see this one, so we have an r here, an r uh, radian, uh, with uh, angle here, so we'll give the ang the distance of x plus y. So, so and then uh, the value of x can be calculated by using OB sine theta 2. So OB means the distance from the O here to B. So, and then we have theta 2 here, so we could calculate the value of x. So, and then the y here is the OA times theta 1. So, you could see uh, by having uh, y here and we have a theta 1 here. So, we could calculate the OB. OB is the center point. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, OA, I'm sorry. So, it's uh, from the origin O to the point A. So, I think yeah, uh, you could understand this one. So, and then we could get the value of alpha is alpha equal OB sine 2 plus OA sine 1 over R. And then if, if these two points source and sing toward each other and then overlap at point 0 here, so the angle is not theta 1 and theta 2 anymore. It will become one single value of angle which is theta. So, what we need to do is we assume that theta 1 and theta 2 is actually equal to theta. So, so we could merge this one, theta 2 and theta 1. So, we could write 
it is become sine theta over r and OB plus OA, we could sum these two value. So OA plus OB means we add the distance OA here plus OB here. So it means that the total distance of A to B. So then we could change the terms of OA plus OB into AB. So and then uh, this is the value of alpha. So and then we substitute the value of alpha here in this value so we could write this term. So and then we rearrange the term so it will become m a times b over 2 pi times sine theta over r. So we found that the value of m, a, b and 2 pi is actually a constant one. Okay. So a co uh, a coefficient or a constant value because the location of a molecule can be represented by the angle and the radius will be will change okay every time but the term the value of a uh, strength here and the distance a b and uh, 2 pi is constant then okay we change the value of m a b over to pi with one symbol which is mu here and we call this mu is the strength of doublet so this is the derivation of doublet which means that when source and sink act at the same point okay so and then i hope uh, you already uh, remember four basic uh, stream function linear source sink and vortex and you add someone uh, another one which is doublet which is it is equal to mu over 2 pi r sine theta which mu is actually the strength of doublet so and then uh we sir, try excuse me sir yes uh, sir, uh, is, I think there is a misprint in this because you said uh, that mu uh, is equal to strength of the doublet is equal to um, uh, m a b by two pi. So the a b is zero. Doublet. Yes, yes. Uh, m a b by two pi, right? Is it the strength of the doublet? Okay, mu? okay, okay. The the strength of the doublet is actually m times a b only. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, another thing actually why uh, previous researcher, I mean uh, the one who works, uh, focus on this one, want to change the value of m times ab here with mu because, okay, let's say uh, we know that uh, when we have sub strength and we have distance. So logically, when the distance become closer and closer, the strength will become higher and higher. Okay, you can imagine that. But... Okay, in mathematics, when a when a b is equal to zero means when uh, source and sink act on the same surface on the same point, so the distance is zero, and when you substitute this value of zero, okay, you will get zero for all your calculation. So means that that zero, it is true in your mathematical calculation, but it's not reflect the real situation of source, the, the real situation of doublet. That's why uh, to prevent uh, this happen in your calculation, especially in your uh, simulation and so on. So we assume that according to the physics, if the a distance a and b is become closer and closer and closer, the value of m will increase, will become bigger and bigger so when a b is equal to zero so means that the the value of m will become the, the greatest value so that is the spirit of the of this one so that's uh, uh to prevent that uh that the value will become zero here so uh, we substitute the value of m times a b here with the symbol of mu. So the mu here is actually the strength of the doublet. Okay, I'm sorry. So uh, so we just uh, replace this term and then we could write the stream function for doublet is mu over 2 pi r times sine theta.
So, and then this is the uh, component velocity for the doublet. So, uh, I hope uh, you could uh, do this. So, we know the doublet is mu 2 pi r sine theta. And then from the Cauchy Riemann equation, we learned that previously. The ur here is d psi over r d theta. And then we could do the derivation here. We could get ur, the velocity, uh, according to the uh, r exists, the radial exists is mu over 2 pi r square cos theta. And we also could calculate the value of u uh, theta here. So we could get u theta is mu over 2 pi r squared time sine theta. So and then uh, we could calculate the resultant velocity as shown in this uh, notes, mu over 2 pi r squared. And also we could calculate the uh, potential velocity, the velocity potential like this one. Okay, so this is uh, for your notes. So if the uh, uh, sink and source at uh, x exists, so it, uh, it will give you the stream function of this one. So if it on the y exists, it will give you the stream function of this one. So if you want to convert it to the Cartesian coordinate, so you will have these uh, terms and this term for both uh, situations. Okay, the most important thing is you just remember the psi for doublet as mu over 2 pi r sine theta. So is that okay? Okay. Okay. So and then, uh, okay, we will go this one because this is the core idea of uh, our uh, because in uh, tutorial, we have this uh, situation. So then uh, we want to merge it uh, with linear. So what happened if the doublet plus the linear? So we get the situation of flow around cylinder. And then we merge doublet plus vortex plus cylinder linear. So we get a situation of flow around rotating cylinder. So this is the... Uh, quite common uh, application in a real situation because for example if you want to evaluate something rot uh, rotates okay your machine with uh, oil your uh, the uh, or you want to evaluate uh, uh, just the the uh, movement of uh, oil that uh, that move in circular motion inside the pipe you can use the idea of this one Okay, the idea is very simple. First, we need to determine the what what should we do when we want to create a flow around cylinder. So the idea is we just combine the doublet and the linear. So the combination here. So the idea is something like this. So for example, uh, okay, as you know, when when we have a doublet, so it will become like this. Okay, so, and then when you have linear here, okay, so linear will flow around the uh, doublet here and then it will create, so let's say we have one molecule of linear here, it will flow here and this one for sure it will has uh, that flow for this direction. So, and then this molecule, okay, will stick together and then they will go around like this. Okay. And then another molecule here will go around like this and then they will stick together here and then they will go through to this side. So, so the flow will become like this. So, this situation we call as Okay, flow around cylinder because the doublet here. Okay, the doublet here will create a circular area. So it is equal to. It is equal to if you have one uh, solid object, cylinder solid object here, and then you want to evaluate with the linear flow. So it will create, so the linear flow will hit the surface of the uh, cylinder here. And then because flow cannot enter the cylinder, so it will flow around the cylinder 
and then because this flow is occur in symmetrical so at this side it will okay uh, meet another molecule and then it will go straight like this okay because we are evaluating this without uh, thinking at, or without consider of friction okay and then the another streamline will go uh, like this okay that okay so what we need to do is we need to combine the doublet and the linear so we know the doublet is mu 2 pi r sine theta minus u r sine theta so this is the linear and what we do is okay we assume that uh first we substitute the coordinates so this is the i the idea is okay previously i think you already know when uh, we have for example a, li a linear equation y equal to mx plus c and then we could draw a draft like this okay and then we know that the value of c is the uh the value on the y axis and then you could find the value of y and x if you give any coordinates that uh, occur on the line so same to this one okay so to get the value of psi here so we know that psi combination this is psi combination is equal to mu 2 pi r sine theta minus u r sine theta so in equation so we know it is the polar coordinate situation so means it is okay for us to maintain the terms of r and theta here okay this is r and theta okay and then mu over 2 pi is the constant but the value of psi combination here must be given so so we cannot say it is equal to zero we must substitute with any point on the surface here to know what is the value of psi combination so what we do is we substitute the value of r0 so r0 means at this location okay wait a minute okay so uh So we know that at this location, we know that at this location, okay, the distance here is R. Okay, so this is an R. And then the angle here is equal to, the theta here is equal to zero. So we give the value of R equal to zero. In this equation, we could say that when the sine theta sine zero is zero so the value of psi combination here will uh, equal to zero two okay so so and then uh because we already know the value of uh psi combination here so i yeah, erase the unnecessary thing here Okay, so because we know that the psi combination is zero, then we could have our equation to reflect the flow around cylinder is zero equal mu over two pi r times theta sine theta minus u r times sine theta. So, and then, so uh, we know that we are now uh, reflecting or evaluate uh, a cylinder here. So mean if the cylinder or means that uh, the object is now is a solid. So if a solid, by uh, there are no possibilities for this fluid that flow around the cylinder to enter the cylinder because cylinder is in solid condition. So means that we need to fix the value of R so means that if r is equal to a mean a here is the diameter and the, the radius of the cylinder so we have a cylinder here so we assume that the radius here is r equal to a 
So, and then we substitute the value of A here. So, and then we have mu over 2 pi A minus U A. So, and then we could rearrange this one because uh, uh, we could write mu is equal to 2 pi U A square. And then what we need to do is we need to substitute this value into this value okay so what is this what is this equation so if you see okay we have our equation here that reflect uh cylinder and fluid flow here so uh, as i said previously the value of r and theta can be maintained because uh, this equation is uh, in polar coordinate but the value of mu here need to be determined so logically, so the value of doublet here will affect the size of the cylinder. So if the doublet, so the, the strength of doublet is increased, so they will create bigger size of cylinder. Okay. So how to uh, calculate, how to determine the value of mu here? So we are substituting the r equal to a and finally we could get mu is equal to pi u a square so we substitute in this equation and then we have these terms and then finally if we rearrange that at terms finally we could get that minus u r sine theta 1 minus a square over r square so this is actually the uh, okay. So this is the value of psi combination or stream function for for flow around cylinder. Okay, so and this value is actually equal to zero. Why it equal to zero? Because if you see, we calculate the value of this one previously and we find that the uh, psi combination here is equal to zero. So this is a stream function of flow around cylinder can be shown uh, as psi cylinder so equal to minus u r sine theta one minus a square over r square and then uh, we could calculate the value of phi here the velocity potential as this one so and then uh, we try to calculate the velocity component so which is u r equal d psi r d theta and then we differentiate the value of psi combination here so you will get u r is this one minus u cos theta one minus a square over r square so and then if we substitute the value if r equal to zero uh, if r equal to a so we could find that u r is equal to zero so and then if uh, uh, u theta we could calculate the value of u theta we derive from the psi combination here so we could get u theta is equal u sine theta 1 plus a square over r square so at this situation what you need to understand is okay we have a cylinder here so and then let's say we have one molecule here so and because the location of molecule is r equal to a at all the time because we are evaluating molecule that moves on the surface of cylinder that's why we call this one as the flow around the cylinder so mean we are uh, evaluating molecule that flow around the cylinder so means that the psi combination that's equal to zero that equal to zero is actually for this line only
Okay. So actually, there is a, a cylinder, this one. Okay. So, and then, for example, we have one molecule here. So, we substitute the value of R equal A because the radius here is also R equal A. And then we found that the UR will be zero. Why UR is zero? As we know that UR is the velocity that parallel with the radius. So to maintain the molecule, uh, to make sure that it uh, move around the cylinder from here to here. Okay, so we need to eliminate the value of UR because if this molecule has a value of UR, so for example, we have cylinder here, so this molecule will move forward. Okay, it will not flow around the cylinder anymore. Okay, that's why uh, we, we sub, uh, when we substitute the value of r equal to a, the ur here must be zero. And then the u theta, if we calculate this one, the value of u theta will be given in this equation. So why u theta exists? Because u theta is the tangential velocity on this surface. So mean to make sure that molecule will move on the surface. So the molecule must have uh, velocity at the angle direction. Okay. So, and then if we evaluate, so if R equal to A, so the U theta is equal to 2U sine theta, means that the maximum velocity occurs at theta uh, equal to 90 degrees and the value of u theta is 2u because uh, sine 90 degrees uh, will become 2 uh, will equal to 1. So and then uh, we could calculate so if r equal to a and then uh, u theta is equal to 0 so this situation happen at uh, sine theta 0 which is uh, theta equal to 0 and theta equal to Pi. So what, uh, what is the meaning of this statement? So the idea is, so let's say we have a, a cylinder here. So and then, so this is the center point. So at sine theta, okay, angle must be calculated from here. So if you have this one, so this is the angle. So that's why this situation, so the theta is equal to zero. So, and then another place is here at equal to pi. Why at this situation the uh, velocity is equal to zero? Because at this situation, uh, it, uh, on, at this situation, we we'll assume that it is a stagnation point. Okay. Why it's stagnant at this point? Because, so for example, if, if we have uh, a flow from right to left here, okay, you know, linear flow, it, it will have another molecule. And then when it uh, go here, so this molecule actually come from the, at the center point, because, you know, it is a doublet, so it will become like this. So you have doublet here. So, and then there is a molecule here. And then these two molecules will collide. So what, uh, at the short moment, when two molecules collide, so it will stagnant. It will stay with a velocity equal to zero. Why? Because the strength, okay, it's actually almost, uh, it's equal. So it means that it uh, when it collide, so the uh, when it collide, so the it will stagnate for a while before these two molecules move to create the boundary of the circular shape. This one. Okay, why uh, they will uh, stagnate? Because it must conserve the mass. 
okay we cannot say that when these two molecule hit each other then uh, the the molecule will disappear no it will not disappear so it will uh, move to another place because mass cannot be destruct okay so and then uh so and then we go uh to calculate the pressure on cylinder so uh we could calculate the the pressure on cylinder by using the bernoulli equation so here i think you you or you could imagine that we have a situation of this one so for example we have a linear flow here so and then when it go around the cylinder like this one so for example we have a point two here and we get point one here so uh, we could calculate by using the bernoulli equation so we have a uh, p over rho g v square over 2g and we neglect the value of z because uh, normally uh, it will occur whether uh, it will be, uh, occur on horizontal plane means that uh, this is the top view of the situation or we are discussing about the air and the cylinder so when we discuss about gas sometimes the potential energy can be neglected that's why the value of z is not included in this calculation so and then we rearrange uh, this equation we could write p2 minus p1 is equal to this one so we assume that uh, v1 is actually capital u so v1 mean velocity at point one here and it's equal to u u means the average velocity for the uh, upcoming velocity so this is uh, the so this is the linear flow here the average flow so the velocity of this one can be determined as capital u so and then uh, we could calculate that v2 here velocity uh, on point number two here is equal u u2 sine theta so from where we got this one so please uh, look back at the notes uh, when we calculate what is the value of u theta so and then we substitute the value here okay we substitute a value at this one and then we could uh, bring the value of rho g to the right hand side so we could uh, have this uh, condition so and then finally we could calculate the pressure coefficient cp as this one p2 over p1 over 1 over 2 rho u square so and it is equal to 1 minus 4 sine square theta so and then uh, to calculate the pressure at point two uh, we just uh, use the uh, equation we bring the p1 to the right hand side and normally if you are calculating about uh, aerofoil and so on so the pressure at one can be uh, determined as atmospheric pressure so we could uh, give uh, zero for this one okay so it's depend on the situation so and then uh, if we want to calculate the drag force on the cylinder surface so we know uh, the common uh, calculation for the drag force drag force is the force on the x axis so it can be calculated by integral of df and cos theta to find the total force on uh, x axis so we substitute the value of df here by pressure times area so the pressure so if uh, p2 cos theta so and then uh, the area is a so, uh, so d theta so and then we substitute the value of p2 here with uh, the equation that we have here so into this one and then we do the integral from 0 to 2 pi so why we do integral 0 to 2 pi because we are evaluating in circular shape so we just assume that this is zero so and then uh, it is pi and then we need to calculate until it's 2 pi here so if you calculate this one okay you will get the value of zero so this is very important because we are calculating in idle flow means we are calculating in a totally situation which the shear stress is not uh, affected it's not 
give uh, it's not uh, give some effect on the calculation so I mean there is no resistance there is no uh, energy losses uh, on the flow so it means that the total drag force will become to zero so another reason uh, we get zero here because we are integrate from zero to two pi so you know we are integrate the positive part and then we are integrate the negative part so the total value will become zero and then we are calculating the leaf force again so we have the integral of df sine theta so uh, we put a limit of 0 to 2 pi so again so we could get 0 uh, equal to 0 so the same reason is we are evaluating the symmetrical shape so the flow uh, at the top will give uh, will create certain force so the force uh, will uh, act from the top to bottom and by the bot the, by the bottom part the second half the bottom part will give another force but that force will act uh, in reverse direction so uh, we have a cylinder here so the flow it will go symmetry like this so and then because it is a symmetrical uh, object so means that the, the half of this one will create another force like this for example and then another half here okay will create another force like this and then the total force is equal to zero so means that if you have uh, this kind so the uh, the leaf force is equal to zero that's why in aerofoil they will create some not symmetrical shape and then they need to uh, some certain angle of attack because the different of angle will give you the different pressure level and so on so and then you will give you different uh, force so means that the greater force normally for the aerofoil to take off so we need to push more force from top from bottom to the top to lift the aerofoil then your aeroplane could fly okay so uh, until this one so we are evaluating about cylinder which has not rotates okay so what happened if we plus the previous stream function which is a size cylinder with a vortex so it's happened so uh, we already discussed about size cylinder here psi that uh, stream function that shows the flow around cylinder so we take all of this term then uh, we plus with the vortex so it will reflect the flow around cylinder so the idea is okay previously so we are uh, we will we'll have a cylinder here and then we have flow like this okay and now when we add vortex here Okay, in negative one, so it will rotate counterclockwise. So it's reflect that we give some rotation at the cylinder here. So, and then uh, we have a linear flow. So linear flow can be imagined as the common uh, wind flow on the rotating cylinder. Okay, the tips for this one is you must make sure that in this... Uh, in this equation okay you must have value of a in your equation and at the same time in vortex here you must also have the value of a why because we are try to reflecting the rotating cylinder means that there is no possibility of flow to go inside the cylinder because the cylinder now is actually the solid object okay you might because in some textbooks they will give you about vortex is without an a so there is some explanation for that but to make sure to uh to i uh, give you some tips to know whether your equation is perfect enough or not to calculating the flow around the rotating cylinder so the idea is if the cylinder does not rotate the value of vortex or the circulation here is zero that's why if you see this equation 
if the value of vortex is zero, means there are no uh, terms of vortex here. So, and then all the value here will become zero. Then, if uh, the cylinder rotates, the vortex has a value. Okay, so it can be uh, slower, uh, faster, and so on. We will discuss about that. So, they will cause the top of the cylinder to have high velocity and low pressure. The bottom of the cylinder will have low velocity and high pressure. So, this pressure difference will result in a lift force. Okay. So, uh, it is known as a Magnus effect. So, the idea is we have a cylinder here. So, and then when it rotates like this, and then we have a molecule, another flow, a linear flow here. So, the linear flow will join the, the rotation here and then will create a, a faster velocity. Okay. And then for the bottom one, so because the, the flow, because the flow is now is reversed, the uh, in a uh, reverse direction, the flow will go down like this, but the molecule will go up to the top like this. So it will create resistance, means that the vel velocity is become lower. So as you know, lower velocity will create higher pressure. And then for the faster, the higher velocity will create lower pressure. So the different of pressure here will force Okay, will create force as you know when you have pressure and you have surface area it will create force so the the uh, the force at this region uh, is greater compared to the force at this one at the top region so it will push the rotating cylinder upwards okay it it is called the magnus effect do you know about my magnus effect previously Yes, sir. Okay, so it's okay. So now, yeah, you could uh, 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 found more uh, experiment for Magnus effect in uh, YouTube. Okay, it could create uh, something uh, aeroplane fly without wings. Did you find that uh, video? Uh, sir, I seen a uh, video about a basketball uh, thrown from a cliff. Okay, so that's uh, the same reason. Okay, so and then. So we are calc uh, we are doing the uh, velocity component. So you could calculate the velocity component here. So you have U R. You derive with uh, cauchy riemann equation. So and then uh, you you will get U R is minus U uh, cos theta one minus a square r square. And then again, if you substitute with the value of R equal to a. Okay, if you substitute the r equal to a, you will find that u r is equal to zero. So why u r is equal to zero? Because they are the molecule is stick on the surface of cylinder. So and then uh, we do the same things for uh, theta uh, velocity. We could find that the u theta here. Uh, from the derivation of cauchy riemann equation, we get uh, the value of u theta equal u times sine theta 1 plus a square over r square plus the value of vortex here, the value of circulation. So previously, okay, previously, okay, uh, we could calculate the stagnant, uh, stagnation point Okay, with the assumption of velocity is zero. So we assume that uh, ur is equal to zero. So it will give us r equal to a. So means that uh, because ur is not exist, so the molecule will maintain its uh, radius equal to a. So means that the molecule will flow with the radius equal to a at any point. So means it will create totally a circular shape. So, and then for u theta equal to zero, so means that we cannot have uh, theta equal zero and pi anymore because the value of sine theta is now influenced by the value of gamma. So, if you do this uh, 
solution. If you try to uh, do the solution, you will get that sine theta here is equal to minus gamma over 4 pi ua. So according to this equation, okay, you, uh, you will find that 4 is a numbers, pi u and a is actually the uh, constant because pi is constant and u is the value of linear. So uh, you know that uh, we are talking um, about. Hello? Okay. So we have a cylinder here. So we have u is the uh, linear velocity and a is actually the radius. Okay. So this is an a. So means uh, all the parameter here is constant, means uh, can be determined uh, from the, uh, uh, before the experiment or it's uh, constant, but the value of gamma here is the strength of the rotation. So means that if you have a cylinder here, it's depend on you whether to rotate this cylinder with low velocity or, or high velocity. If you rotate uh, the cylinder with high velocity, so it means you give it higher uh, circulation. Okay, so means that uh, what we could say here is the value of theta here is actually det determined or influenced by the strength of vortex. So, and then uh, we have uh, four situation, four possibilities. So, if the vortex is zero, so we could say that sine theta is equal to zero. So, then we could have a two stagnation point, which is here and here, because the theta is zero and pi. So, if gamma is less than four pi u a, so from where we get this value, because Okay, this is the equation. So we have situation where the gamma here is zero or the gamma is equal to the uh, value for this one. It means first gamma is less from the value of this one. The third one is gamma is now equal to the value for, uh, for the top, um, um, for the bottom part here and for the last, uh, possibility is gamma is greater to the value of this one. So mean if the gamma is now less than 4 pi u a, so the sine theta will equal to minus 1. So for this situation, we could get that theta must be between pi and 2 pi. So we could calculate, we could uh, draw, we could locate the stagnation point at this point and this point. So, and then if the gamma is equal to 4 pi u a, so we will have uh, sine theta is equal to minus 1. So, we could get, uh, we could locate the stagnation point at this location. And then if the gamma is greater than 4 pi u a, so the sine theta is greater than minus 1. So, the answer is we cannot determine the value of theta because it is impossible to have a sign a value more than one or minus one so we assume so it is uh, it doesn't mean that the stagnation point is not exist so we assume that the stagnation point is actually exists but is it exists not on the surface of cylinder so it will exist outside the surface of cylinder so we assume that it will occur like this so in real situation, we have a situation uh, something like this. When your uh, rotation of cylinder is too fast, okay, you may not allow liquid to touch the surface. So when it occurs, so it will create the stagnation point is actually not on the surface of cylinder. Okay, so and then we try to calculate the leaf force uh, on the surface. So again, we are using the uh, Bernoulli equation and the capital U here is the free stream velocity and the Q here is the resultant velocity. So the pressure can be calculated like this one. So and then uh, we could calculate that the Q means that uh, the velocity is actually uh, U theta only because uh, if the uh, if the velocity u r is uh, in, has certain value, so means that the, now the molecule is not moving around the cylinder. 
So the Q is U theta only. So the terms, the velocity is equal to this one. So and then uh, we have Q square. So we uh, do the uh, square uh, function here. So we have all, we get all of this situation, uh, all these terms, and then we substitute into P2. So we get the pressure at point two. You could imagine this one, P1 is actually point before the linear flow go through the cylinder. And then uh, we could cal uh, calculate the lift force. So uh, we have the integration of this one, uh, P2 sine theta A D theta. So we substitute the value of P2. So, and then we know that the integral of sine theta, okay, is all, will give uh, zero. So we could uh, simplify the terms. So, and then finally, when we do the integration, we could calculate the lift force for the rotating cylinder is actually can be simplified into these terms. So mean uh, the lift force is equal to rho u and gamma, which is rho is the density of fluid, u is the free stream velocity, and gamma here is the strength of vortex. So this is the uh, idea of uh, Kuta-Jokowski theorem.